I knew something was wrong with me my whole life. Growing up as a child, I'd, I'd feel a, a, a loneliness even when I was with other people. I felt like, have you ever felt, have you ever been left behind somewhere when everyone else is going somewhere and you're left? That's how I'd feel on a regular basis and I didn't know what it was. I didn't understand it. I wasn't a confident character what you see today. I was a very shy, reserved, skinny little whippet kid. Yeah, growing up I had no confidence. I wasn't given any confidence. I was always told that I couldn't do stuff and, and I'd never do anything, I'd never achieve anything. So that made me worse, basically. I've experienced the highest highs and the lowest lows in life. Growing up, I, that was my lifetime ambition to beat Vladimir Klitschko, to be heavyweight champion of the world. You know, I went over to Germany and it didn't feel like I was doing a great thing. Didn't, something had worked for me whole life and when I finally achieved it, it was like, oh well, that was a load of rubbish. I wasn't expecting now to feel like this. And like I said to you before, I just felt like a, an emptiness, a, a deep gaping hole of nothing. Darkness and gray clouds. Every day was gray. I can't tell you in words how I felt, how down I was. When you lose control of your own mind, you're in a bad place. And it's a silent killer. It's almost like carbon monoxide poisoning. You can't smell it, you can't taste it, you can't feel it, but you die. That's another thing that mental health will give you. No, zero motivation to do anything. Zero motivation to have a shave, zero to brush your teeth, even have a shower, nothing. And I felt like I had nothing to look forward to. I was worthless. I, I, I just, it was just a horrible, horrible feeling that people need to understand that many, many people are in the same boat. They don't have to be very successful sports athletes to feel like this. Anybody from day to day has the same feelings. I was in a position of power. I had glory, fame, achievements, money, a family, all earthly assets that one could want. Money in the bank. But it meant nothing, so they couldn't understand why would this man feel like this. Everybody looking on the outside, oh, Tyson's got everything, he's done everything, he's done what he ever said he wanted to do. He's lived his dream, he's done everything. Why is it he's just an idiot, he's a attention seeker? And the more I'm trying to think, right, I want to be positive, negative, 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 negative. And everyone I was around was getting negative too because I was putting it on them. This went on for 18 months. Wow. Of me battling my own self every day, drinking, abusing my body, eating rubbish, taking yeah. drugs. Everything I stood for didn't matter anymore because I was going to die anyway and I was trying to make, I was trying to kill myself. This was, I was so sure I was going to die, but nothing mattered, I didn't care. And I was drinking every day, something I'd never done in my life. To try and wash my uh, sorrows away. But it didn't, it come to a stage where, I, oh, oh, well that's one way of doing it, but I'm going heavier and heavier. I was gaining 380, 390, 400 pounds and I was very unhealthy. I didn't fit in anything I owned anymore. It wasn't me anymore. I had, I had two bodies. I had to get all new clothes. I was walking around in, in like fat man clothes. I was a state. I was a mess. And I couldn't help it. I was busting out of like 7XL clothing. And I won, the turning point for me was, yeah. was that it was Halloween last year. I went out Halloween dressed as a rare skeleton in a fancy dress party. I went out about nine o'clock and I expected to stay out all night and get smashed. I had one drink. I looked around me and I thought, what am I doing? I'm, I'm back normal again now, yeah? I'm back like thinking straight. Still drinking, but I'm thinking sensible again. And I said to myself, you're telling me that you would rather be here with a load of kids half your age is this what you really want when you've got a family at home and you're depriving your kids and your wife of, of quality time? Wow. Yeah, I pushed everything I held dear away from me. I thought, is this it? You traded having all them achievements for what? I come back, I went upstairs to my room. I got down, I took the skeleton suit off and I got down on my knees. And I was in a dark room on my own. And I was praying to God to help me. I was begging, there was tears rolling down my face because I knew I couldn't do it alone. And I said, look, I said, I know, I know I've been tested, I know I've done so many things wrong and I've, I've done this and I've done that and I'm, I'm so weak as I can't do it on my own. 
I said, please intervene here and show me the way. Show me the light. I said, because I'm sick of living in darkness. I was down there praying at least 10 minutes. And I'm an emotional wreck. Me, me, me shirt's wet all, I feel all my chest all wet. Crying my eyes out like a baby. And I got up off my knees and I felt a weight lifted off my shoulders. And I called out to my wife, I said, Paris, here. She said, what? I said, tomorrow? I said, I start to turn my life around. She said, yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before. Because I'm the man who cried wolf a thousand times. I said, I promise you. I said, I'm going to do it. I'm definitely going to do it. From that day, I got my tracksuit on in the morning and I was going to run two miles. I got about 200 yards and stopped. And I thought, right, I can't, I can't run. I've run all my life. I've always been a very good runner. And I got 200 yards and I was totally gone. I could feel my belly moving on the... It wasn't like a fat like jelly. It was like solid brick. It was a, it was a horrible feeling. I thought, OK, I'm going to walk the rest. And I walked. And while I was walking, I was on my phone and I saw a little video from Deontay Wilder. And he said, ha, Tyson Fury let himself down, let his family down. He said, he's that fat, he'd never come back. He said, and I'm glad he's gone because I'd have knocked him out anyway. Just rambling on nonsense here. Yeah. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to give it you proper. You're my motivation now. I'm coming back to get you. And, and every day I'd go out on the canal and I'd do a little run in my sweatsuit. And every day I'd get a little bit further until I was doing four or five mile again. Um, I give myself short-term goals and long-term goals. And I plan things more now. Where if, if I'm just not got anything on the horizon, I, I tend to wander and my mind goes AWOL. But when I've got something on planned and I've got things going and I want to do this, this and this, even if it's, you don't, it doesn't have to be big things. It can be small, tiny goals, what means something to you as a person, as an individual. But I'm very, very sure that working out and having a routine in your life is, is, is the answer for mental health problems. You need to stimulate the mind. And I think training is a perfect way to do it. Working out, exercising. Whether you can do a lot or a little, you must do something. I want you to know that every day for two years was very gray and dark for me. But it will come back great again. You will have sunshine days again. Rose colored days warm by the sun. It's an iconic game. comeback, in it? You know what I mean? I'm two and a half a year out the ring, 10 stone ballooned, mental health problems. I just showed the world tonight, everyone suffering with mental health, that you can come back and it can be done. Everybody out there who has the same problems that I've been suffering with, I did that for you guys. You know the truth. Everybody knows I won that fight. And if I can come back from where I come from, then you can do it too. So get up, get over it, and let's do it. Seek help, and let's do it together as a team. I did it for you guys.